Hey everybody, it's the Big Weave and we are back in the fish room, but not for long because I'm going to take you guys outside and show you one of my favorite summer tubs and that's our tub with our Lake Tanganyika Trophius, which are a cichlid. And they have done great all summer. They're really growing, they look good. So we're gonna get on out there, so like and subscribe and stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. This is our 100 gallon Trophius tub. It is a Rubbermaid tub that we got at a local farm store. In this tub, we have our Trophius from Lake Tanganyika and a few bristle nose plecos, which you won't see in this video. Now, first off, I wanna go through and just give you an idea of how we set it up. The way we set this tub up is we started with a layer of organic potting soil and then capped it or topped it with three inches of pool filter sand. And then on top of the pool filter sand, we have two big rock piles on each end of the tub. These rocks are large and I made them so they have a lot of caves and holes that the fish can go in and out of. Now back to the potting soil. Some might wonder why do you use potting soil and that is for these plants right here which are jungle val and they have roots and then they send little shooters like your grass in your lawn almost and then they pop up. So the potting soil provides the nutrients for the plants. Now in this tub we do have three species of tropius. We have the lange, the morleo red, and the dubosi. And if you see here in the video, you'll, you'll notice different colors. And it might look like there's actually four breeds, but the Debosi, they have spots when they're younger, and then their spots go away, and they'll have a yellow line like that guy right there. He's starting to fill in and have that yellow now. So, what do they eat? Our trophies, and most trophies, all trophies, should be on a strict herbivore diet. Now, outside or in the wild, you'll see them picking a lot of the algae off rocks and um, the plants and things like that. Now, we feed them a algae wafer. There's a flake that we give them and a actual trophius pellet that we use. These trophies in this tub are roughly, I would say, about a year old because we got them at the end of last summer to early fall. Now, as you can see, they are chasing each other around a lot, which brings me to the point, are they aggressive? Yes, they are aggressive. And it's best to keep them in groups of 20 or more. So at 5.9 inches, is around their maximum growth you're going to need big tanks for these fish now if you watch some other videos on trophies you'll see they're so so beautiful they're a great fish to have kind of different than our shell dwellers because these are more free swimming and rock dwelling but still a lot of fun and it adds a lot of color to our fish room when we bring them back inside super easy to keep I would say we haven't had much problem at all. They don't seem to be too sensitive to temperature changes, but we're pretty normal around the 70 to 80 degree temperatures with these guys. And then we do do water changes and the regular maintenance on them. We never give them regular uh, flake or protein of that sort we keep it on a plant diet so that about wraps it up and i just want to thank you guys for watching these are trophies and we will see you next time on dreamweaver aquatics remember like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos